stay close now. On June 21st... We've lost the East Coast. Europe's gone dark. When the war begins... Is there anything left up there? All clear. Light them up. Discover... I think we're gonna find anything? Yeah, we're gonna find something. What comes next? Try not to kill one. It only makes the rest of them more aggressive. World War Z. Rated PG-13. Starts June 21st. Hello, I'm the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want. I love zombies. Who doesn't? There's just something about them that is so appealing. For me, it's their universality. Meaning that they can be both frightening or just silly entertainment. Or both. The fact that they used to be ordinary people and, that, and the fact that you and I are just as likely to become one, one as anyone else, makes them all that more frightening, but also makes them more human. And it and the latter can certainly make them more difficult to fight. Equally, however, zombies can be used as an extremely entertaining way to just get a fun, mindless adrenaline rush, mostly through seeing them destroyed. The film that I'm, ta I'm talking about today, World War Z, definitely takes the former approach. It manages to be the first truly scary zombie film I've seen since 28 Days Later and the Dawn of the Dead remake. And no, I didn't include The Walking Dead because this is a zombie movie, not a TV show. There's a difference. Based on the novel by Max Brooks, World War Z tells the story of a UN worker named Jerry Lane, played by Brad Pitt, who must leave his family to scour the world being, that's being torn apart by zombies in the hopes of saving humanity from extinction. I freely admit that I have not read the source material, though I intend to do so in the near future. But I have done a bit of research that tells me this film is a very loose adaptation. What I do know is that the plot in, in the novel was... See, the novel was set after the zombies were defeated, and the main plot was Jerry Lane traveling the world interviewing the survivors. This film is set at the beginning of the apocalypse. And as I mentioned earlier, Lane travels the world to save humanity, rather than recounting tales of survival. This may seem like they're turning a compelling and unique take on the zombie genre into something bland and unoriginal, and yes, the first 20 minutes or so of the film are fairly generic. Now, it's not to say that they're bad, it's just that they're... Just everything in those first 20 minutes was stuff I had seen not only a billion times, but done a billion times before, but done a billion times better. However, everything after that is not only original, but offers a lot of really exciting action scenes and... Actually, a lot of scenes that deal with psychological tension and not over gore or violence, which is pretty rare in a zombie movie. The fact that this film is set in various locations around the world helps to add a sense of dread and reinforce that the idea that there is truly no escape from the plague. This is unique as it is a stark contrast to zombie formula, where, a, where usually a small group is cut off from the rest of the world, and that creates a sense of, a sense of dread. The the ever dreadful feeling of not knowing. Notable examples are the, are both The Dawn of the Dead, the original and the remake, and more recently the comic book and TV series The Walking Dead. In addition, the solution offered to fight against the zombies, not cure them, but fight against them, is actually very innovative and makes a lot of sense, but I won't spoil it for you here. The characters in this movie aren't are nothing special, but they are decently written and well acted. Brad Pitt truly surprised me in that I was able to buy him as a regular person, which is usually hard to do with an with A-list celebrities. Speaking of which, besides Brad Pitt, there aren't a lot of there aren't that many celebrities in this movie, which helps to buy the, f which I think is nice. The global setting also allows for a lot of racial and ethnic diversity, which is cr quite rare in a ho in a blockbuster movie, much less a horror film. Overall, World War Z may have some flaws. But it's certainly worth the price of admission, especially for horror fans. And yes, it does deviate from the book, so some of you fanboys out there might be disappointed. But overall, I recommend it. I'm the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want. Goodbye.